Hi everybody, it's Miss Julia here. I'm working late and I decided to end my day with a fun little drawing of a frog. Um, I thought I would walk you through how to do a frog and put them in a cute little setting and I'm gonna do it in color pencil and chalk pastel. So whatever you have at home, uh, just use whatever you have, be creative, change colors if you want, but have some fun with it and enjoy. Okay, on this video, I just want to start with um, just the basic shape of a frog. So if you use your hand and you place it about halfway, if you find the halfway point of your picture and just start at the middle, place your hand next to that dot to the left. And what I'm going to do is start at my baby finger with another little dot. From that little dot all the way over, to this little dot and about a finger past it and making another little loop. So just almost like a big smile, okay? Now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take and draw the top and then I'm gonna work my way down and draw the bottom of the beginning of the frog. So he almost looks like a fish at this point. So I'm gonna take this first line and I'm going to turn it into a smile. Okay, and then I'm going to add to the back of this, um, I'm going to add the beginning of a leg. So I'm going to come down, touch my dot, and draw a knee. Then I'm going to match that on the other side. I'm going to draw a little loop and another knee. Okay, so one knee on one side, one knee on the other side. Then I'm going to take, I'm going to draw the back of his foot. And then in here, I'm going to draw a line, the back of the foot. And then I'm just going to connect his thigh right there. So leave that little line in there. We're going to use that. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to add in a line and another line on the opposite side, and then I'm gonna connect it with the little webs of his feet. And then I'm coming underneath that little mouth, and I'm gonna draw a little jaw and a tummy. Okay, so the tummy is below this line. Now I'm gonna keep the line, and you'll see why. Now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take and add a little oval right here and another little oval, just part of the oval showing on the other side of his head. So that's his eyes. I want him looking up. So I'm gonna draw a little pupil on both eyes. Then what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna color in the pupil and leave a, a little white dot on the bottom. That makes him look like he's looking up. So keep the little highlight to make him look like he's looking up. Now I'm gonna add a second little eyelid line here and a second little eyelid line here. Then I'm gonna connect that eyelid to his body and I'm gonna connect this eyelid body to his body on the other side. Okay, so you can kind of see he's starting to look like a frog. So frogs have little skinny arms. So I'm gonna start his arm kind of even with the back of his eye. And I'm going to draw a little V and another little V like this. I'm going to add in his fingers. That and They got three fingers and the middle one's always longer, just like on the toes too. So I'm going to draw his other hand on the other side of his face. So a little finger, another little finger. So he looks like he's swimming. Okay, now I want him to look like he's in water. So the line that I left here I'm gonna now add a ripple next to that one and a little ripple next to that one. So it looks like he's disturbing the water. So just a couple little ripples past him like this. So now he looks like he's floating in the water. So the next thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna add in the front a large lily pad, okay? I'm gonna go a little smaller and a little thinner as you work your way back because 
things flatten out more as they get further away from you. This one I'm going to angle in this way. And then they just become little flat ovals as you get further away. You can add as many lily pads as you want. Just know that as you get closer, the lily pads get bigger. Now, the lily pads have little stems. So I'm going to just jiggle a few little stems in the water right underneath each lily pad. And when you're at your cottage or up north, I want you to notice that you can kind of see those little stems in the water. So now I want it to look like water. So I'm going to add a few little disturbances and interruptions in those lines to look glassy and make it look like these little lily pads are actually disturbing the water too. Now, we want the frog to look at something. So we're kind of look, he's looking up into the upper third of your picture. So the upper third is your point of interest. So the point of interest for this frog is a little fly. So I'm going to draw a little oval and then on that little oval, two tiny little ovals and then I'm going to make two little eyes and I'm leaving little white highlights on those little eyes too and a couple little front little tasters on the on the front end of the, the fly and then I'm going to just put two little V lines on the back of his large oval and then I'm going to go straight out the one side straight out the other side so it looks a little bit like an M you see that then what I want you to do is start skinny and meet up to this start fat and meet up to the skinny so it looks like fly wings then I'm going to scallop these fly wings along the one edge and then I'm going to take and put a line going to the other edge. There we go. Now on his body, I'm going to just texture it with a little bit of a pattern on the back. So he looks like, you know, he's almost got a B look to him. Now I'm going to take and I'm going to add a couple little motion lines and I'm going to make it look like it's disappearing into a little flight pattern again, kind of like we did on the B the other day. And then I'm going to just add a couple little jiggle lines on this one. So he's looking up at this little fly. So now to color this one, I'm going to use chalk pastel just because it's a little faster. But um, I may mix it up a little and use a bit of um, colored pencil as well on the frog. Just because I think um, it might be easier for you to do it in color pencil just because the, the color pencil will allow you to get in a little more detail. But just for, for speed, I think I will do my frog with um, the chalk pastel. So you can decide. So the first thing, we're going to do a little leopard frog. They have kind of a yellow belly on them. So I'm going to start off with a little yellow, more towards the bottom, a little on their feet, a little on their hands, just to add a little yellow glow to them. Then I'm going to start off with a bit of an olive green. So if you don't have an olive green, just use your regular green. Any green is good. I just happen to have the right shade for a leopard frog. So I'm going to put that right down the middle of his nose. I'm going to take my finger, just going to blend that in, move it to where I want it, let it fade into the yellow. Now I want to highlight his eyelid. So I'm going to add a little yellow to the eyelid. I want a shadow, so you know with your color harmony, you're going to shade with blue and you're going to highlight with yellow. So I'm adding a little bit of shadow to a few spots where there would be a shadow, like by a leg, underneath a curve of a leg. Now, leopard frogs have, oh, you know what, I forgot his back leg. Leopard frogs have spots, which makes them look like a leopard. So I'm going to take, for those spots, I think I'm going to use a reddish brown or a regular brown, whatever you have. I'm just going to add a few little spots on them. Like this, you can use a dark brown if you want. There we go. 
All right, now I'm gonna take and just shade the bottom edge of the fingers. Each finger, I'm just gonna add a little shadow, just so you can see those fingers a little bit. You can smudge that in with the side of your baby finger, even shade the bottom. So you're kind of working some of your outline into the, the little guy. So now for the fly, I wanna bring some attention to the fly, so I'm gonna start with yellow on the fly. I'm just gonna add a little yellow, almost like a bee color. And then I might just use a little bit of that reddish brown on his body, a little bit into his wing. You don't have to get into great detail. You just wanna bring attention to it. So now I'm gonna take my water and I'm gonna start off with a nice lime green. So I'm starting with lime green because the reflection of those lily pads is going to be lime green. So I'm starting with lime green and I'm, if you notice I'm kind of going below the lily pads because the reflection will go downhill. So drag a few straight lines that will make it look like the water is calm. So I'm going to drag a few, that's kind of a trick in cartooning is learning how to work with these either horizontal or vertical lines to give the impression of a cliff or shine um, or wetness. So we're going to use these downward strokes with that green to give you that shine. Now I'm going to go in with a nice light blue and I'm going to interrupt those downward strokes with a blue horizontal stroke. So I'm going side to side, I'm working my way around these little disturbances. So this is the lighter highlights in the water. And they're just gonna fade away as they get out of view. All right, now I'm gonna go in with a nice dark blue. So the dark blue is kind of gonna go in between work around your frog a little bit. Drag that color in there. Go right up to the edge of them if you can. And you're kind of going around those light blue ones, but feel free to leave a little of the white of the paper as part of your ripple in your water. So I'm going in around and I'm dragging a few of these dark blue lines down, just like I did that dark green or the light green. Drag those down. Do a few horizontal strokes, drag a few little vertical strokes. So you see how the water is starting to look kind of glassy. So don't overwork your colors. Kind of make sure they're kind of on their own. They're separated. So you're kind of working around each of them, not working the color into them. So this is going to give you your depth. I'm going to make the bottom part of this picture darker than the top. It's almost like as you work your way up into the sun, the picture kind of fades as you work your way up. All right. Now I'm going to take my finger and I'm just going to blend some of that blue into the other colors, dragging a few of those lines down. Don't over blend it. Just kind of work some of those dry spots in. Okay. A few little vertical strokes in here. So it looks like glassy water. Now I'm gonna put a few darker lines going through my frog. So I'm kind of going over some of my original penned in lines or penciled in lines, whatever you used and I'm just darkening a few of those up. That just kind of pops your color a little bit. Okay, now we're gonna go in and do our lily pads. So I'm gonna dust the lily pad first with yellow. So I'm just gonna add a soft little yellow glow on those lily pads. Okay. Don't worry if a little of the blue mixes in with it because we're gonna add green anyway. I'm going to take my lime green. So if you don't have lime green, when you use your regular green on top of the yellow, it's going to turn lime green. 
If it doesn't look lime green enough, go back over it with the yellow again. And don't let your colors puddle too much. Just kind of put them on, stroke them on like this, but don't let them puddle too much because you do get a buildup and just blow on it afterwards. Now I'm gonna take my finger, make sure it's cleaned off. So use a Kleenex or a rag and you're just gonna blend those colors together a bit just to give them a softness. And I'm gonna take my green and I'm also gonna add a touch of it into those stems under the water. Let those just fade away. Now, sometimes on these lily pads, you might get the slightest little bit of orange. Just on an edge, you can add a little touch of orange, drag that in. And just like a ripple or two on the edge, like this. All right, now you can clean up the edges where it meets your water by just adding a bit of blue and a few disturbing lines through it. So we want the water to kind of alter our stems a bit. Clean up your edges so that that contrast of the dark blue color against that light green is going to make those kind of come forward. They're not going to look so bland. All right, so now I'm gonna just look at my frog, do any cleanup that I wanna do. So I got a little Kleenex, I can roll it into a point and I can sometimes take out a little of that chalk that got in his eyes. You can use your knead eraser for that as well. Um, if you want to clean up your edges back here, you can either use your white chalk, knead eraser, fingerprints you can take off with your knead eraser. Um, anyway, this is kind of a fun add whatever you want to it, but this is a fun little one to do. Good luck and have fun.